Hey, it's Zedmont. I have fantastic news, as some of you may have known. Fantastic news for me, anyways, sorry. I now have a GBE 41%. It's not a 42, but it's now brings my perfect statues up by quite a bit. I've got all perfect statues, and my GBE is off by 1%. So, I, cut, I did the math, and I figured out that over the last year and a half, it might have even been longer than a year and a half, I've burned 160 purple masterpieces, and this is the first one I've gotten, which has been better than my 38%. So, I did that based on, I did I averaged it out to about three crystals per Dr. Terror day, over a hundred, or over a year and a half. So, I probably actually had more than that, because I've been boosting my, G, my Power Stone, my PSC, every Terror day for a long time now. So, Probably closer to 200 or 250 purple masterpieces have been burned, and this is the first one that has been better than 38%. So, I know people who have burned through 3 or 4 42%. That's not me. I've been very, very lucky with my reds, but not my purples. So, I'm finally caught up on the purples, and I constantly hear people complaining about their sculptor, saying their sculptor sucks. Uh, like as if their sculptor is any different than anyone else's sculptor, and that's on small nine, that's on triangle nine, it's on the forums, on the Reddit. People constantly say their statues suck. So I wanted to bring up a couple quick things, and I wanted to show some statue information. So if you look at this, there's only a 1.2% chance of getting a perfect red statue, and the mid so that means that 99% of the time you're not gonna get that statue. So if you're sitting at say a 30% troop troop health statue, 94% of the time you're not gonna get a better statue. So people seem to think that they should be getting better statues or they always get better always get bad statues, but the fact remains that 90% of the time at least you're gonna get a crappy statue. Like you are just destined to get a crap statue. So if you look at, like, if you look at the troop damage, for example, the stuff that's below 25% makes up in the neighborhood of 80%. So you're you're bound to get bad statues, and that's what people don't understand. Is they think they think that they're not lucky or they're not that they're just cursed or something like that. But the stats are against you. You you by design will get bad statues. And I'll talk more about that in a minute, but let's get on, move on to the purple statues. Purple statues are very similar. You see, I had a I had about a 1% chance of getting a, a better purple statue. Actually, I'm more like three, three and a half. So the fact that I had to go through about 200 statues means that I obviously was less, less lucky than the stats say I should have been. But that may mean that I've got a 42% coming down the road just because I've been burning through so so many statues so one of the things to be aware of is if you're looking for better statues power stone chance does work many many people will look at power stone chance and they'll say well i i don't i boost my power stone chance and i don't get any more crystals but the fact is you're not supposed to get crystals the way like if you look if you look on the wiki that you have an 85% chance of getting a fragment from a building. So, n like, nine times out of ten, if you attack a building, you're gonna get a fragment. You then have a 12% chance of getting a shard, and only a 3% chance of getting a crystal. So, by boosting your power stone chance, you're more, because you're more likely to get frags, you'll get more frags. If Because you're a little bit more likely to get shards, you'll get more shards. Your crystal chance is only going to be up to like, say, 6% or something like that, because you're going to get more. So let's have a look at this base. So just to show an example, how, how your power stone chances work is you have a 2% chance of getting a stone. Or sorry, that's, I'm going to back that up. You have a 25% chance that you'll get a power stone from the headquarters. Every other building you see has a 2% chance of giving you a power stone. So you're you're already behind in the fact that you're really probably... There's 64 buildings here probably. So say you're at even, say you're even at 50% chance of getting a frag. Now, 
If you boost your Power Stone chance, your 25% chance of getting a stone from the headquarters goes up to a 50% chance, assuming you have a 100% Power Stone chance. So then each building goes up to 4%. But again, that's 4%, 90% of the time is going to give you a fragment. So Power Stone chance does increase your chance of a stone, but it doesn't change it so you get more crystals. If you're going to run Power Stone chance, be aware that you're going to get more frags. Those frags will turn into crystals, but you will get more frags, more shards, and a little bit more crystals, but you're not going to boost your Power Stone chance and get 20 crystals in a row or something like that. That's just not how it works. So, if you have bad statues, you have to think, okay, Power Stone chance is going to give me more stones, and my sculpture is going to turn them into garbage. So the only way to get better statues is to make a lot of them. If 9 out of 10 of them are going to be garbage, then make a thousand of them and then you'll have a hundred good statues. Like you have, If you have bad statues, place a power stone chance and attack as much as you can. The best thing you can do if you want to get better statues is attack. Power stone chance doesn't have to be used to give you more powder it can give you more statues. More more statues means better chance of getting something good. You're still dealing with only a 10% chance of a good statue, but I'd rather have a 10% chance 100 times than a 10% chance twice. So the players out there who have ice statues or green statues, you're putting yourself behind. And that's why I, I always preach purple or red. If you've got green statues, if you've got blue statues, you can't attack as much. And if you can't attack as much, you can't get as many statues. And if you can't get as many statues, you're not going to get good statues. So attack, 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 attack. Yes, you will lose some resources because players will defeat you and players will raid you, but I've got to say it's critical that you attack as much as you can, especially if you're a low level. Like here, let's just go like this. I'm going to skip over here. So if you look, this is, this is my level 46 account, and I've got a 28% troop damage, I've got a 13% guardian, I've got a 29% troop health, 38% GBE, 17% GBE, 17% GBE, 16, 16, 75% masterpiece, and then in my garage I've got a perfect troop damage guardian, perfect GBE guardian, and a great resource reward masterpiece. So. The reason for that is, compared to anyone else that I've seen, I've got more statues completed than most players that are level 46. So, just backing it up, if you want good statues, attack, 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 attack. The best thing you can do is attack and just keep churning through those statues. It's like, right now I'm making a purple, I don't know if this is, a, this is a guardian, so let's finish it up. Chances are it's going to be garbage, 10%. That falls right in. If we bring back up our purple statues, if we look in the guardian, I had a, where are we at here? I had a 42% chance that this was going to be a 10% guardian. So half the time you're going to get 10% statues. That is a huge, huge probability. So that I, that was totally unplanned, and it worked out perfectly. So, not perfectly. I would have preferred to get, obviously, a 17%, but we salvage it. And that gives us a crystal, and eventually I'll make another purple masterpiece, and hopefully I'll get a 42%. I'm going to race to see which, which account gets purple gets the 42% first, if it's Tmoz or Zedmont, but it's critical that you build statues. So... If you want to go turtle, by all means do so, but don't complain about your statues, because you're going to make far less statues than someone who's attacking. So, I, I, I feel like I'm preaching here, but amen. Please, please, please attack. If you want statues, you got to make 
crap. You're going to make terrible statues. You have no idea how many terrible statues I've made. I've made, like, you... It, it's, it's very frustrating if you look at each individual statue, but if you look at the long, the big picture, you're, you're burning through that 10%. That's your goal, is to burn through that, burn, burn through all the 90% so you're stuck with the 10%. There's gonna be a lot of crap, just keep going, get as many stones as you can, get as, build as many statues as you can, and eventually you'll be rewarded. So, I'm just gonna quickly show a stronghold solo on tonnage. This was a fun attack, just burning, burning, burning through power cells, farming up GBE. A little bit, the only difficult part, or the part that worried me, was that hot pot by the core. I got a little bit lucky on that because I, my shock was a bit late, but we'll see here in a second. I managed to shock it when it was up, which is, without critters, is so, so important. Pretty easy attack, though. I think I lost three troops. So just to, just to, just to finish up, I, I'll say it one more time. I'll show the stats. Let's show the red, purple red statues. You have a one percent chance of getting perfect red statues. For purple, you have again a one percent chance of getting perfect statues. You're not gonna get them. I mean, there are players who get. I mean, there's gonna be a player whose first statue ever is a purple. 42% GBE masterpiece. That's gonna happen. It's not gonna happen very often, but it will happen. So the, you can't you can't say you're unlucky because you didn't get it. That person is just incredibly, incredibly lucky. Just grind through your statues. It's painful, it sucks, but if you want to get more statues, you need to attack more and you need Power Stone Chance. Power Stone Chance, I boost every day for Dr. Terror because I want better purple statues. It's a, it's probably a waste of powder if you're looking at it from a pow powder perspective, but from a, a statue perspective, boosting Power Stone Chance is a great, great idea. So there are many people talk about Power Stone Chance as if it's only a a good thing if you're trying to build powder or if you clear your map every day but if you're trying to get better statues consider putting down a power stone chance I'm gonna link to a couple forum posts in the description here I'm gonna link to the wiki that explains this do a little bit of reading put a little bit of thought behind it and I think that you'll be pleased with the results it might not happen right away like I said for Zedmot I had a 33% GBE statue for probably a year and since then I've had a 38% for probably a year and a half or two years. Uh, that was starting in about May, I think I had 33% in May 2014 and then I can't remember when I got the 38% but it's been forever. It's, it's a grind, you're not gonna get it right away but you'll get it, you're gonna get it sooner if you attack and have Power Stone. You're not it's, it all comes down to stats, and you have to, if you don't believe the stats and you don't believe the numbers in the game, you shouldn't be playing the game. So, I just let me know if you have any comments or questions, or if I'm wrong on anything. By all means, the things that I'm referencing might be a little bit old. They're very, very good, very, very detailed, but they might be out of date for all I know. So, if you notice something that I said wrong, or something that I didn't say, please comment and I'll make an addendum if I have to or something like that but once again that is Zedmot talking about statues I hope that everyone out there gets perfect statues I hope that I I mean by all means I'd love it if it if everyone every one of my subscribers got a 42% GBE masterpiece tomorrow it's probably not gonna happen but I wish you the best of luck keep attacking keep boosting that power stone and good things will happen thanks for watching and cheers